let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's go. Good morning, Jeff. Oh, oh, I'm walking fast back home. <laughs> red district, red line, living more than so. Seems a bit torn, yeah. Seem like we lost battery on iPad. Let's go. Let's go. First thing in the morning. Let's wake up. Welcome to the morning cup of coffee with George Truly, Mr. J.R. Coble himself. What's up, King? Good to see you again, man. It's been a while. AJ, good morning. It's been a, it's been a while, man. Let's rock out on this marvelous Monday morning, man. Good morning, Cindy. Welcome to the morning cup of coffee. Y'all welcome Cindy. This is her first time, if I believe. Jessica, good morning. Again, welcome to the Morning Cup of Coffee with Mr. J.R. Coble himself. I appreciate you guys joining. Um, beautiful Monday. I pray that you guys' weekend went well. Uh, I pray that everything was fine. We got to drive down and see the grandbabies and the babies and <laughs> coming off a fat, a fatcation. Ate everything, <laughs> ate everything that laid still while we was out there. If it sat there long enough, it was going down. But uh, it was a blessing to have that time away, man, to kind of decompress and 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 and, and uh, think and, and and be around friends, family members, and loved ones, man. So I, I thank God for that time. Um, it's good to see you guys again. I'm, I'm starting to miss y'all when I'm not on. So, uh, uh, oh, 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 it's only nine of us on here now, so hopefully that number will go up. Check this out. Give yourself yet another hand, man, the, the producer of the morning cup of coffee. Uh, he, he continues to tell me that we're doing well with the numbers so you know let it rip for yourselves everybody let it rip for yourselves because it, it it can't be done without you guys yeah 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 let that rip let that rip because uh it takes a village and you guys happen to be the village and uh can't do it without you we appreciate you so excuse me so much for for the support the love uh, uh, uh the comments uh everything the sharing of the of the podcast the sharing of the facebook post and it's been a blessing to have you guys as a, as, as a part of this uh, journey that we're on that, uh, that I believe will only get bigger and greater and, and, and better as we continue to, to traverse through, through what it is that we got going through, our, uh, through this landscape of life, you know, and this infant of a, of a podcast called The Morning Cup of Coffee. Good morning, Teresa. Good to see you. Oh, I won't be long, but I do have something that I want to share with y'all, man. I want to share something with y'all. I'm in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15. Check this out. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Good morning, Dion. <clears throat> Valerie, good morning. Here's a here's a first first Timothy chapter 1, verse 15. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Of whom I am worst. This is Paul speaking. And and it's such a beautiful outlay. It's such a beautiful uh, 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 backdrop to the story. Because Paul Paul is... Ah, today's the day, boy. Holler at me when it happened, KP. Um, he's talking about how he's the worst of sinners because Christ came to save sinners. He's saying how bad of a person that he is. Now you go to verse 16, but for that very reason, I was shown mercy so that in me, the worst of sinners, <laughs> so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus may display his immense patience as an example to those who will believe in him and receive eternal life. The reason why these two scriptures are just screaming out to me is because I know I, I maybe I speak for myself. Maybe I speak for myself when I say there are some things in the shadows of my life that are haunting. That are haunting. Paul calls himself the worst of sinners. He says that being that I'm the worst of sinners and Jesus saved me so that he could show all those that may come behind me that they can receive that same salvation and that same eternal life. Sometimes in our lives, we think about some of the stuff that we've done 
And the hardest person to 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 forgive a lot of times is yourself. Yeah, I appreciate those two. Jessica, good morning. There's been some times that in my life growing up as a as a as a as a as a, as a youngster man, as a young man, but living as a boy, that I've done some things that man, I it was hard for me to say, you know what, Jay? You have to let that go. AJ, sometimes you gotta just let it go and keep moving. KP, sometimes Dion, oh my God, brother. You know, sometimes you have to let those things go and give them to God and Forgive yourself because he's already forgiven you. In Isaiah, it says that God says, I am, I, even I, am he who will blot out your transgressions for my own sake. The trick and I will remember them no more. God. And, and the only one who's bringing them up, you're bringing them up to yourself. Sometimes the enemy will plot it in your head and make you go over all the stuff. Oh, man, I should have never slapped that girl. No, you should not have. <laughs> no you shouldn't you should not have put your hands on that person but you did it and you need to ask them for forgiveness you ask God to forgive you and then you move forward you move forward the hardest thing to do Lashonda, when you fall is to get back on your feet because your mind will tell you man I can't get up from this Dion, Jeff, your mind will tell you I'll never rebound from this but your bounce back game has to be strong. The bounce back got to be real. I've done some stuff just in the recent future. I mean, in, in, in my recent past that I had to bounce, that I, uh, bounce back game had to be so strong because people will continue to talk to you about your past. But the trick is this. You allow them to do so, right? Sometimes I don't want to hear nothing about my past, right? No, 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 no. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because there's no shame in forgiveness. So now, Paul is using the fact that he used to murder Christians, not only as a boasting right, but as a testimony. So Jessica, when they start talking about how you used to act and how, who you used to be and, 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 and the places that you used to go and the things that you used to do, yeah. Girl, you should have caught, caught me on a Friday night. Oh, I, it was lit. You know, you can tell them that. But then you can say, but Jesus came along to save an old wretched sinner like myself. And so I can stand before you with a smile on my face and thank God for all that he brought me through. I can thank God. I can praise Jesus for the fact that there was a change. There was a Damascus Road meeting between myself and this beautiful, wonderful Savior. And so I no longer, <laughs> but Jesus, I no longer. Do I have bad days? Absolutely. And he's there for those too. Do I have bad days? Yeah. He's there. He's there for those too. He's there for those too. Um, I was a football player, and they used to tell the quarterbacks, if you throw an interception, you gotta have a short memory. They told that to the cornerbacks too. If you get burnt for a touchdown, you gotta have a short memory. Dion, you have to let that play go and move on to the next one. But this is what you do. You learn from the mistake that you made. You learn from the, the mistake that you made and then you shift it and make sure that you don't make that mistake again. So when people bring up your past, Paul, t he tells us, he was like, I was crucial. I was, I was hunting Christians down. Hunting them down. The worst of sinners, he calls himself the worst of sinners. And this is a man that ultimately turned down, turned, uh, 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 turned, turned into a, a large writer of what we call the Bible this day when he was changed and transformed so once you bump into Christ something gonna change you will not be the same is it a process yes but something will click inside of you that will make you start to think a little bit different that'll make you start to move a little bit different and then that turns into progress and and, and, and it turns into this process that's that's ongoing I'm going. Talked to my dad the other day, 70 something years old, and he's still learning. He's still having mistakes and learning from them and using them to his benefit to make him a better man than he was the day before at 70 years old. Praise be to God for that man. For that man. That's the man I want to be. I'm not going to lie to you. That's the man I want to be. That's the man I want to be. I want to be a man who's content, con, con, continually 
progressing. You know, this life, the, the lessons of life, they never stop people. They never stop. The day that you stop learning, you're done. You're done. They never stop. This journey that God has given us, this blessing that God has given us, it never stops. It never stops. You'll be, if you, if you in motion, because we serve a God that's in motion, as long as you stay in motion, you'll be continually learning until he calls you home, period. That's a fact. You have to, A, stay in motion. B, A, you have to be connected to God. B, you have to stay in motion. Jeff, there's no stopping. There's no pause, pausing. There's no, there's no waiting in the waters, you know, just treading water. You can't do that in this life that we live. You can't do that. You have to continually be swimming because this life is, 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 is coming downstream. Good morning, Shantae. Hey, beautiful. This life is coming downstream. And the moment that you stop, you start to drift backwards. It's just, it's just how life is. Forgive yourself for the things that you did yesterday. Ask God to forgive you for the things that you did yesterday. Paul says that he used me as an example, a person that was killing Christians. He used me as an example of the patience, the, the immense patience. The immense patience that he could show the rest of the world that if he could save somebody like me, he could save somebody like you. If he's not worrying about past a pause yesterday, do you think that your yesterday looked anything worse than what Paul's did? A man that was seeking Christians out and having them murdered? No. There is a grace there for you. There is a forgiveness there for you if you receive it and then turn from whatever it is that you're doing like he did. And now your yesterday is not a trial. It's a testimony. You can live by it. Shantae, you used to be quick to cut somebody out. Yeah, I sure did. And, and depending on the day, <laughs> depending on how I wake up, I sure did. But I ain't cussed nobody out in a month. I ain't cussed nobody out in a month. Jay, you was quick to fight. Sure it was. I ain't had a fight in years, though. God is working on me. I ain't had a fight in years. You know? And it turns into this testimony. Because people will bring up your past, man. Edward, they will not. There are some people out there who are not celebrating the fact that you have overcame those things. There's some people out there that's on the sidelines like this. Oh, he going to get into something. She gonna cut somebody out. Watch her post. She gonna follow. Oh, they in love now. They be broke up tomorrow. Oh, there's people out there. And they show up. They show up to all the shows. <laughs> and those shows could be anything. Those shows could be your job. Those shows could be your kids' school. Those shows could be your, your social media uh, uh, platforms. We gotta be careful with what we put on there. They'll come and do business with you, Dion, just to see how your business going. Because you want to you know what? They're waiting for you to fall. There's a song that I sing, and it says, And they surely came to learn. People come to watch you fall. But I'm out to make a name, and a fool out of them all. Yeah. All you got to do is keep pushing forward. But I'm out to make a name, and a fool out of them all. Yeah. What you got to keep doing is keep multiplying, not only monetarily, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically. Keep multiplying. All he used to eat was McDonald's. I ain't had McDonald's in a few days. Well, the vacation, we didn't have uh, uh, McDonald's on a vacation, excuse me, but we had a whole bunch of junk. But yeah, they waiting for you to fall. Tell somebody you want to die and watch how they all of a sudden watch how important what you eat becomes to them. Oh, I, uh, Valerie, I thought you was on a diet. <laughs> Tell somebody you want to diet and watch how important what you eat becomes to them. Tell somebody who I got to save up this money. Watch how your spending becomes important to them. Tell somebody you got a new man. <laughs> Tell somebody you found you a new lover. Watch how important your love life become to these people because they're watching and waiting. They're watching and they're waiting. 
They want to witness it. Some of them want to witness it for the good, but you got those other ones. You got those ones with their arms crossed. Miss Westmoreland waiting for you to fall off. Waiting for you to go back to doing the things that you was doing. Waiting to see what you're going to say out your mouth or what you're going to put on Instagram or what you're going to put on Facebook or how you're going to react to certain situations because you know what? They don't understand that, that, that the old you is not, is not embarrassing anymore. The old you is a testimony. <laughs> Miss Willis, the old you is not embarrassing anymore, sweetheart. The old you is a testimony. The one that used to slap a bro. Good morning, Michael. The one that used to what? What the bad thing? <laughs> Beep you? Censor you? Censor, censor. Yeah. She's not embarrassing anymore. She's that old person is a staple, is a is an example of what God can do, can do to somebody. I sold everything a man could possibly sell. We're going to speak facts. Everything. In and out of prison. I pray that can't be used against me in the court of law. <laughs> Is it embarrassing? No. Is it wrong? Absolutely. But it's also an example of what God will do for me or you. To take that out of me. To change that part of me. Did it take some time? Absolutely. <laughs> Dion, <laughs> you felt that, didn't you? <laughs> that touched home to some, of my, to some of my brothers out there. Jeff, you don't love like you used to love. You know what love is. <laughs> you don't pray like you used to pray. You understand how important prayer is. Michael, you don't move. You got to get to where you don't move to where you used to move because you understand that that old person is a testimony of who this new person has God has created. He'll reach inside of you and grab that stuff if you allow him. If you allow him. Does it take work on, does it take, what's up, big guy? Does it take some work on, on, on our end, Trey, to become better people? Yeah, you have to be active. You have to be active. If you think about it, the only time God really, really, really worked alone, he, he worked alone a lot of times, but the, a lot of time, you have to be in partnership with God to get some stuff done. Moses, go out there, hold your hands up. Okay, so what if Moses didn't go out and hold his hands up? Hey, you guys, blow the horns and march around the walls of Jericho. There has to be. He's a big God. He don't. He, he can do everything. He don't need no help. But a lot of times he wants to know that you're willing. A lot of times he wants to know that you're obedient. That there's a faith there. Jay, go out there and stand on your head. And if I need some help, baby, hold my legs. <laughs> Moses needed help. Aaron him held, held, he held his hand, arms up so long to where his brothers had to help him hold his arms up as that, as that sea was parting. If I ain't got, if you ain't no friend like that, that'll just help me hold my hands up, I don't need you. Friendship POV. Yeah. Yeah. Shantae, when you see someone here you don't like, brother, you good? Yeah, them the friends I want. Them the friends I want. Because I know that they understand where I've been, they understand where I am, and they understand where I want to go. They're not sitting over there in the background with their arms crossed, Dion. Waiting for Jay to fall. That's another reason. I'm going to tell you something. Because I've had people call me and be like, hey, man, uh, 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 you shouldn't say some of that stuff on your podcast about what you're going through. Why not? Paul told us what he did. Paul said I was killing Christians. That ain't no different than what I got going Than what I've done. And if I fall, I, I, feel, I feel okay coming on here and saying, hey, look, this is what I went through. This is what God is delivering me from. This is what God is taking out of my life. And then you guys, when it happens, you guys are now a witness. You, we all become witnesses of one another. The word of God says, share your burdens with one another. Confess your sins one to another. It says that. So when I get those phone calls, and, it, and it's not a bad phone call because they, they call themselves looking out for me. And I understand that. I understand that. But 
Who should I listen to? You know, them or the word or the spirit that tells me, hey, share this. Because there's been many times I got on here was like, hey, man, this one ain't going to be a good one, but uh, this is what I got going. <laughs> this is what I got going, you know, and I share it with you. And when I, and when I and when I and when I have a triumph, I share that with you as well because it becomes a testimony of all that we've gone through. We've went through some stuff on this podcast together. You know, yeah, he does, sweetheart. Absolutely, we've been through this thing together, man, and we'll continue to go through this thing together. Trey, I appreciate you joining in, man. Y'all don't forget to tap into the uh, the cussing Christians. And all my men out there, Dion, Jeff, Michael, Quint, uh, Quentin, I want you guys honestly to go check out uh, Impact Four Men. Trey, would you please drop that in the chats if you get a chance, brother? Impact Four Men on Instagram. It's a beautiful thing, beautiful organization, beautiful group of brothers, man, doing their thing in such a mighty way, in such a mighty way. And that's the thing. Uh, I love you, ladies. You know it. But we need more strong men. We need more Christian men. We need more men grinding doing the right thing, making the right choices, saying the right words, leading, absolutely, being the right example. Because ultimately, yeah, all my men let that rip. All my men let that rip, man. Everybody let that rip because those are facts. The enemy has attacked the head because he understands that if you knock the head off, the body will fall. We need more men being fathers, being brothers, being uncles. Just being an ear. I got a Bible study that I'm on uh, every Saturday morning, man. It's 18, 19 brothers on a Zoom call having a Bible study. What a beautiful scene. Women, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to give you a fact. You won't find nothing more sexier, more attractive, more appealing, more calling, more drawing than a praying man ever. Ever. <laughs> I didn't say a perfect man. I said a praying man. Because I'm going to tell you another thing. Here go another fact for my women. You won't find a perfect man. But you can find a progressing man. A man that's in the process of becoming better. Man, I had so many ups and downs. Still. Still. To this day. Yeah, Michael, it ain't nothing like a couple warriors coming together, holding hands and saying a prayer. Man, you won't find nothing more beautiful in the world. In a world. Constantly. The word of God says that the prayers of a righteous man, the fervent prayers of a righteous man, availeth much. Bring about, succeed much. The, the thing is, we like praying men. We need more men with testimonies. And for you to have a testimony, you got to first be a sinner. Unashamed. Unashamed. Come on, girl. Unashamed. Unashamed, youngster. You find somebody, you find a man who's unashamed, you'll find a man who has went before the Father and asked for forgiveness. And he has to, it has to come that way. It can't be this boastful, prideful type thing. If you find a woman, a lady that's unashamed. It has to be this thing that she has gathered from God. Christ has told her, you know what? Your go. Your sins have been forgiven. And it's so easy. All you got to do is just go to him while you driving your car, while you sitting at home. Jesus, I'm so sorry for that. I've been doing this and I've been doing that. Please forgive me of my sins. Please cleanse me and make me white as snow. Shame keeps you hidden from God. Oh, it does. It does. And it makes it to where. Think about if Paul wouldn't have wouldn't have. Think about if Paul got so shameful of the things that he did that he never shared this with us. Who I am. Uh, uh, Jesus came into the world to save sinners whom I am worse. In another translation, it said chief. He calls himself the chief sinner. In another translation, this is the uh, NIV version that I'm reading right now. I usually read the King James. But he said it's that very reason that Christ came that he may display his passion. I mean, his patience, his immense patience. Let it rip if you got kids. Everybody, let it rip. Whoever got kids, let it rip. I want to see you. I want to see your icon come up there. Matter of fact, if you got kids, just drop a thumb. Drop a thumb in the chat for me. 
I appreciate the rip. If you got kids, drop a thumb in the chat. Let's get that going. Put a thumb in the chat for me if you if you if you got children. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sweetheart. There you go. Okay, Valerie. Valerie. Shantae, most definitely. If you got kids, give me a thumb. I'm going to call you out. LaShonda, LaShonda. Every, <laughs> so everybody, okay, Tioka. <laughs> Tioka happened to be the mother of, of Long Range Change. Teresa, okay. Misha, okay. Kids. Child, love it. I'll take it. I'll take that. Jessica, she has children. Michael, okay, okay. So pretty much everybody, let them keep everybody because ultimately I'm going to come back and pray for all y'all who got these kids, who, everybody who got a thumb in the, in, in the chat. But I want to tell you this. How many times did they get on your nerves? Not only on your nerves, but when you only got two or three left, they happen to jump on top of that last one. <laughs> you can spit two at work and then you come home with this one nerve left. <laughs> this one nerve left. It may be a half a nerve. You got a half a nerve left and you look over there and Jimmy got pain everywhere and his finger and his nose. His sister, her got glue in it. <laughs> Who did this? What, what is it? Nothing's done that you asked him to do. KP done told you to shut up and ran out the door. <laughs> but you love these kids and you're patient. With these kids. Yeah, it gets to a point to where you want to discipline them. Amen. That happens. It says do not spare the rod. I'm all for that. I'm all for it. But that's the same thing that God does. He's patient with us. Long, the word of God says long suffering. And Paul says that with the immense patience that he showed in me, the worst of sinners. The worst of sinners. What's up, J1? That's my partner, man. Y'all welcome J1 to the morning cup of coffee, man. The worst of sinners, man. I've done some stuff that'll make some of the stuff that y'all done look like stealing candy. For real. But I can't be ashamed of those things because God has turned those things into a testimony, man. I'm not the man that I was 20 years ago. I'm not the, I'm not the man I was six months ago. If I'm being completely honest, I'm not. And I thank God for that. Because I know that he's working something in me. I know Dion J1, he's trying to bring about something different in me. I know he got a plan for my life. What up, uh, TD? I know that there's something that he, I know that there's a position ultimately that he's trying to Put me in. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> and he is good all the time, Lisa. You better know it. I know that there's something set for me. The word of God says this. I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you. Plans of good and not of evil. To bring you a future and a hope. Dion, we don't look nothing like we looked in 1996, man. Man, listen, if y'all ran to me in 1996, it was times I walk in the club. As soon as I walk in there, two, three people get up and walk out. <laughs> For real. For real. And now people gather. People gather. God. From, listen to this, from walking in the place and two or three people getting up and leaving to people gathering to where I am these days. Glory be to God. Not because of me. I've done nothing but given it to God. To people running from me, to people running toward me. That's what God will do with your testimony. People will stop running from you and they will start to run toward you because of your testimony. Your testimony. In, in Revelation it says they overcame him, him being the enemy, the devil, the dragon, the snake. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the power of their testimony. That's what it says. And I can stand and I can say that Christ made it to where people stop running from me and people start to gather in the places that I frequent. For real, J1, it's people like us that it's people like us that he that he used to change the world. 
Amen, Lisa. Amen. Most definitely. Most definitely. And, and, and she said it took, she said in 60 days she's had a complete turnaround. You know what? That's a testimony. You should be telling people who you were 60 days ago. You should be telling people who you were 60 days ago. If Paul would tell us the whole world, generation after generation after generation, that he was killing Christians and then he stopped. Why wouldn't we tell people what we was doing six months ago? Four months ago, I was drinking whiskey at 8 o'clock in the morning. Am I lying? Those are facts. 8 o'clock. Amen, Valerie. Yeah. But I can stand on that. That's a testimony now. That's a testimony now. Don't be ashamed. There is no shame in forgiveness, man. If I can prove, if, if there's a PowerPoint, that's what I would say. There's no shame in forgiveness. First, you have to go seek the forgiveness. And then you have to be strong enough and courageous enough to share where he brought you from. How many of y'all went to church a long time ago and, and, and old people would stand up and say, the Lord brought me from a mighty long way. <laughs> they meant that. <laughs> They meant that some of those people were drug dealers. Some of those people were prostitutes. Some of those people were drug addicts. And when they stand up and say, he brought me from a mighty long way. They meant that wholeheartedly. I can stand up today and say, man, he brought me from a mighty long way. It was, it was a time I thought I wasn't going to ever get out of prison, man. Seriously. That first five, six, seven years, man, I was living so bad. I had almost made that place my home because I didn't have a clear thought of what was going on in my life. I didn't understand the, the, the discipline that I was receiving, the correction that I was receiving. It was to mold me and to change something in me. He was handcrafting me. I was on, I was on the potter's wheel, man, breaking me down. <laughs> For real, Teresa, I understand that. Trust me. Trust me. I understand that wholeheartedly. Go get that forgiveness. Right? I'm going to leave with this. Go ask for that forgiveness. It's there for you. Period. Can't nobody take that away. Can't no one change that. No one. Don't let nobody tell you that. Amen. <laughs> Amen, Lord. <laughs> Baby, see, I'm... He's still really me from the deep waters, but I'm on the hook. Amen. Likewise. Likewise. So listen, the forgiveness is there for you. Go ask for it. Go seek it out. It's there. It's yours. All you have to do is go receive it. And then secondly, and then secondly, don't be ashamed to share with nobody where he brought you from. Don't be ashamed to share that truth. That's your testimony. And, that, and in your testimony, there is power. You're going to have the people waiting for the downfall. She's going to do it. They're going to fight. They're going to No, 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 no. No, no. Don't worry about that. What they think about you ain't none of your business. <laughs> what they think about you ain't none of your business. You just keep doing what you're doing. And then wake up the next day and do it better. And then wake up the next day and do it better. And then wake up the next day and do it better. Until it turns into a routine. You know what? Those people who see you doing, Dion, they standing over there like this. If you keep waking up and, and, and building that testimony, J1, they over there saying, oh, he going to go back to prison. He ain't learned. They over there with their hands, with their arms folded like this here. The more you wake up and do better, their posture going to start changing. Now they like, <laughs> yeah, they come from arms folded to applauding. Man, this boy is on it, man. Dion hurt them boys. J1 is on it, man. Just got a house, just got a car, just got married. Man, Miss Willis doing her thing over there. Shantae killing them. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, it'll turn into that. But you have to create that habit. Facts, all facts. 
All facts. Man, y'all start hurting them. They're going to get tired of standing like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, excuse me. They're going to get tired of standing like that. But it'll start to awe them. They'll start to become, they'll turn into head scratches. It'll get a head scratches fit. It'll give them a fit. It'll give them a fit. For real. For real, J1. It'll give them a fit. The head scratchers will start to lose their mind. They'll scratch a hole in their head trying to figure out how, how you're doing what you're doing. And then you'll be able to turn them, you'll be able to turn to them and say, Jesus, it's simple. How? When? How? What you Jesus? That's the only secret sauce. <laughs> That's the only secret sauce. You know, that's, man, how you learn how to do this, man? Jesus, discipline, resolve, honest commitment to change. Simple. That's the secret sauce. You can quit scratching your head. If you want some help, I can tell you what I did. Well, first, I got over here and I, I started praying about what was going on in my life. Secondly, I started making better decisions. Three, I got disciplined about what I wanted to do, and it started happening around me. Period. Secret sauce. Life hack. <laughs> Hashtag life hack. Let's do that before we roll. No, let's hashtag Jesus, Dion. Because that's how. Let's hashtag Jesus before we get out of here, man. If you believe him, drop that tag. If you believe him, drop that tag in the chat before we roll, man. Proclaim that today. Thank you, Lori. Sweetheart. Drop another one for me. Period. Hashtag. Thank you, KP. Make that, pro that proclamation on today. Good morning, Gwen. That's the word of God, Edward. He will make him your footstool. Good. Make that, make that proclamation, Jessica. Thank you, youngster. Michael. Everybody, man. Proclaim that today. That one's for me. That one's for me. Because I can't do it without him. Never could, never will be able to. Don't want to. I got the strangest email the other day. Not email, but uh uh about a month ago. I got the strangest email. Message. <laughs> I called Youngster and I talked to Youngster about it. I ain't going to name no names because I don't want no smoke. <laughs> and these people were inviting me to this group of people. Asked me if I wanted to be a part of their group. And my response to them was, I don't think that that's the plan that Christ has for my life. I don't think that's the road he wants me to take. Youngster, you know what I'm talking about. Because I called you after I got the message. Period. It was so it was so disturbing that I saved it. Dion, I'll tell you about it. I'll call you. We'll have that conversation. I'm gonna call you right after the chat. And let you know. But yeah, you have to understand that Christ has a road that He wants you to take, and you just gotta pick that road. There's gonna be many other ways that you can go, man. Left, right, middle. It's gonna be many other roads that you can take. But the one that you need to take is the one that he's laid before you. And you'll know it when you get close to him. Yeah, he's busy. Yeah, he's busy, but our God is in business. Gwen says, Satan busy. Yeah, he's busy, but our God is in business. And business is booming. <laughs> I love y'all. Do me a favor. Miss Nelson, you late. You got to go back and watch it. Do me a favor, man. Get on Spotify. Get on Apple Podcasts. Share it from there. Share it from there. Comment on it. Rate it. Get on YouTube, y'all. We got to get on YouTube. The only numbers we lack is in YouTube. The only numbers we lack in YouTube. And I don't want to stop coming on the live and just start posting it on YouTube. So you got to go get it from YouTube. I love the interaction here. So we got to get those numbers up on YouTube. Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Y'all go get it. Share it with your, friend, your, uh, your family members and loved ones. Good morning, Carrie. We about to roll, though, baby. Love you too, family. Y'all, y'all go, y'all go check out the podcast, man. Share the like again uh, for all my brothers out there, man. Uh, impact the letter four men. Uh, is it impact? She gonna drop it. She gonna drop it in the chat. Don't forget to check out the custom Christians as well, man. This is for my brothers. Um, again, do something good for somebody on the day, man. Love yourself. Have some time with God. Forgive yourself, for He has forgiven you. And uh, it's easy. 
Gov first. There it is. Thank you. Impact four men. Y'all go check that out, man, for my brothers, man. That's a that's a very good deal. All right. I love y'all people. Have a blessed day. That's the morning cup of coffee, man, for this beautiful Monday. And uh we'll see y'all soon.